Hello, all BJ Wilder here again with another fabulous episode of It's All and the rest. We are back into Zoo Tycoon this time. And as you may recall from last episode, we are working on my big zoo. And we were just about, uh, you know, besides doing the regular maintenance and stuff, we were just about to kick it in with the Marine Mania and Dinosaur Digs exhibits, because I pretty much got everything else loaded up now. But before we do that, uh, I think it might be wise to do a little bit of a tutorial on Marine Mania, and perhaps Dinosaur Digs, just so we can learn about what's new, what's different, and how to actually set some of this stuff up before we go ahead and mess up my view with it. But us what we got here. Play tutorial. Tutorial game controls basic gameplay. Making animals happy. New dinosaur digs marine mania. So what the heck? We'll do both tutorials, I guess, this episode. <laughs> or maybe one or the other. Hmm. It all depends. Because I do want to try to flip back and forth, I guess. So I guess we will do... Let's see what dinosaur digs has to tell us. Let's... Dinosaur Digs will teach you the next something or other, or Zoo Tycoon Dinosaur Digs will learn how to filter game content, create exhibit with electrified fencing, adopt dinosaur eggs, hire scientists, access the building list, access new research, show and hide, guess foliage builds, which we sort of know. Some of the stuff we already know how to do, we've been doing it. It's all included with the base game, essentially. Gotta make a suitable dinosaur exhibit. That might come in handy. Oh, how to set dinosaurs loose in your zoo. That might be entertaining. So, how many uh, tutorials we got here? Marine Mania's got three. And everything else is the beginning zoo and that kind of stuff. Okay. actually got the bigger uh, exhibits. So I guess we'll start with Donna's digs here. Let's see. And uh, let's give it a go and see what we learn here. Welcome to Dinosaur Digs! You'll begin playing soon, but first, this brief tutorial will teach you some of the important game controls and new features of Dinosaur Digs. Etc, etc, etc. Okay, thanks. Click OK to start. I think I can handle that. As a zoo tycoon, you've always craved new opportunities to revolutionize the old zoo. You've adopted Bengal tigers, that I've had. Bred panda bears, I believe I've done that as well. And launched exhibits of other exotic wildlife. Indeed, I have. You could never have anticipated the discovery that mundane summer morning would bring. Really, what which mundanes in the morning? Strolling through your zoo, you see your scientific research team all clad in white lab coats and rushing towards you. Ooh, each one eager to talk. You can't make out much of their excited speech and wild gesticulations, but you gather that you'd better follow them and check out something happening in the research lab. Mm. And you'd better do it now. Entering the lab, you see a large incubator, and the scientists part to let you get closer. As you approach, you see a tiny lizard-like creature clamoring out of its egg. Hmm, reminds me of a scene in a certain movie, I think. Say hi to our new baby, Kentrosaurus, 
one of your staff says in tears. Oh, no, say hi to your new baby Kentrosaurus. A Kentrosaurus extinct for 65 million years, alive in your zoo. The excitement of the moment is quickly intruded upon by the harsh reality of trying to keep a dinosaur in your zoo. Yes, because you have watched Jurassic Park. Your researchers start showing you plans for new fences, new research programs, and new staff. As long as you don't hire Newman, you should be fine. Your work is definitely cut out for you. Welcome to the Zoo Tycoon Dinosaur Digs expansion. Do 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 new feature for finding the game objects you're looking for. The expansion pack filter lets you sort various items you can purchase either by Zoo Tycoon, by Dinosaur Digs, or all content. Okay, so the filter is added with the expansions, which we've been doing. Anyway, since we've already had the expansions included with the complete collection. To try this, open when the construction panel opens, click down the pull down menu at the top of the panel and choose to sort the content by dinosaur digs by your command. Click. Zoot I can uh, filter game content by dinosaur digs. Okay. Oh, thank you. Now it's time to build your first dinosaur exhibit. Oh, how exciting. Many of the larger dinosaurs are so strong that you will need to place them in exhibits created with electrified fencing. Yes, because that worked real well in Jurassic Park. Of course, that was after it was turned off. If weaker fences are used, these dinos will smash right through the fence. Smaller dinosaurs can be contained with non-electrified reinforced fencing. Is there such a thing? Of course there is. A smaller dinosaur, I mean. Regular zoo exhibit fences are inadequate for containing any dinosaurs because dinosaurs are so large, you just said the smaller ones. <sighs> Their exhibits are typically much larger than irregular animals. The electrified iron bar fence is the strongest fence in the game. Build a large exhibit with this fencing in the area encircled by the brick path. Be sure to build as large an exhibit in the space provided as allosaurs. I presume that's what we will be adopting or breeding here in a moment. Need a large exhibit. Electrified iron bar. Electrified iron bar. Ooh, sorry, select for me. Okay, well, first things first. Uh, let me boop, 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 boop. Oops, I presume this is where they want me to build it. Oh, some neat little things. Where's this dinosaur gift shop? Don't recognize that. Dinosaur cinema. Don't recognize that either. T Rex skeleton. Ooh, coolness. What's this? Dino slide. I don't recognize any of these things. Also, Raptor dinosaur gift stand. Dinosaur mission booth. Holy mammoth. Holy mammoth. Oh, okay, cool. I guess these I have to unlock for my freeform zoo too at some point. Okay, so let's do this electrified fence. I'm gonna have it right up to the path, I guess so. Alright, I guess we'll just do it right up this pathway too, although I don't know why we would want our guests to be able to touch an electrified fence, but hey. you're going to be that stupid, well, perhaps you ought to be electrified by that, if, in that case, anyway. Exhibit 1, so Allosaur, Allosaur, I believe it was. Kerchrank. Now that you've constructed, you will need to purchase a dinosaur to live. Yes, indeed. I thought we were growing them in our lab. Why do we need to purchase them? Hmm. A stressful incubation period? Okay. I will momentarily. First things first. I'm going to change where the door is. I want to put the door 
for a white oh, hold on there. That's what I want to do. I want to put the door there. Thank you. Okay, now we can go here. We can adopt our little baby Allosaur. And we want, what, 4,500? Pop the egg right there. Okay. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Very large, very smelly. Uh huh. Jurassic BF2000. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. In or near the Allosaurus exhibit. Okay, we'll just plop him in here. He's good to go. Allosaurus statue, we can take the time to look at. Another new feature of Dinosaur Digs the building list tab. Okay, let's tab. Look at the zoo status. View the financial information for all your buildings in one place. Sort the information by name, months in operation, total, total number of visitors, total profit or average profit. You can click either the buttons or the text to sort the information. Click on the various buttons to sort the data. When you're finished, sort the data by average profits. Average profit. Okay, don't have bigger standing, which of course we have looked at some of this stuff. Sort, sort, sort. Months in operation. Number of visitors. Here we go. Bronto bigger stand. How about the profit? Also gift stand, not very profitable at this point. That's our average. There we go. Research programs are three new dinosaur based and three dinosaur based conservation programs. Okay, let's do various programs in the research. Calendar time close. Okay, swinging log toy. Okay, insect house. Ah, uh, okay, well, we do have the insect house in our zoo, so that's good to know. Look at our scientist go. Is he caring for that egg or not? Where are you, scientist? Oops. I can't do nothing else at this point. Scientist. Okay, good. Research. Dinosaur care. Rex care. Scientist training. Log toy. TV funding. Well, that's. Uh, okay. Foliage houses research. Oh, it hatched. Ooh, look at our baby Allosaurus. Informational. Okay, good. So in your zoo, viewing the Allosaurus egg in nearby woolly mammoth. Dinosaur digs into new ways of changing the map view so you can see more of what you want to see. Lower left corner of the screen, just below and to the right. Mini map. There are three new buttons. So this stuff actually came in with dinosaur digs, did it? Interesting. The first toggle button, Hide Show Guests, allows you to hide all of the guests in the zoo. This can be very useful for finding your staff members who may become lost in the crowd. Ah, yes, indeed. Try Hide Show Guests yourself. Click the button with the guests in the lower left corner of the screen. Once to hide the guests, then click again to show the guests. Okay. Over here. We do that. Oh, look, it's you. Scientist number nine. Mm -hmm. And we'll bring the people back. Hide foliage when you want to be able to make changes to an exhibit. If a dinosaur gets angry, it may trample to the terrain or crush its shelter. Oh, I see. It becomes much easier to find the trampled terrain or rubble if you hide the foliage. Toggle hide show foliage in the left corner of the screen to turn off and back on. So somewhat like this, which of course we have done before. You can also hide buildings when you want to be able to see more parts of your zoo that may be obscured by large buildings. It's just like the other buttons, yada yada yada. So we'll pop over here so we can see it in action. 
Not that we haven't seen it before. Just a moment. Oh, a little hatch. It already has. Yes, well, okay. And you will catch your first glimpse of a dinosaur once the other story says you will be important to make it exhibit as suitable as possible. Is the fern bush need shelter as well? If you make changes, you won't be able to see how it feels about those changes. So it's best to wait until it hatches. Ah, okay. The scientist recommendations button for more information on what it wants. Okay, we shall make you suitable. Happy dinosaur. Happy dinosaur. Happy dinosaur. Happy, 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 happy. Oh, he's getting a whole big old pile of meat. What is this? Large meat chow. It is full. Okay, let's click on our exhibits. Just thinking. Yeah, it looks pleased. Well, so far, yes, indeed. That's it there. I guess to FSI now, well, we're going to have to assign him. Anyway. None. Java sounds. There we go. Oh, good, thanks. Okay, good. Well, scientist recommendations. Too much grass. So you need rainforest, fresh water, rocks, and shelter. So we need rainforest terrain. Where's our terrain? Rainforest, we'll go boat. not happy. He don't sound too happy. Okay. Still too much grass. Not enough rainforest. Not enough fresh water. Oh, he's got rubble. Where's the rubble? That's the rubble. Yes, we'll do that momentarily. More rocks and a little bit more water, shelter. Rocks. We can't place any rocks other than giving us rocks. Is it? There's the rubble. Need more 
more fresh water. Yeah, we will set them free. In the It's all rainforest. <laughs> Looks like he's sleeping now. Here we're getting closer to it. We need to get ready. Okay. Set him free. Okay. This ought to be interesting. Uh oh. Oh, he's gotten eaten, really. Okay, large, in electrified, and all others in reinforced. And a DRT to catch any dinosaurs. What? You don't have a DRT. Maybe you better hire one quick. The DRT are hired like any other staff, so they come with their own building. Ah. An area surrounded by concrete path near the exhibit. Okay. Oh, look. I guess we want to see you meet somebody first. Oh, he's panicking now. Come on, dinosaur is supposed to be fast. Trample train. Oh, looks like he ate him. Okay, let's zoom out there. The concrete, I guess that's what they're talking about. Let's see where I'm at. So we've got the buildings. Yeah, the exhibit. So I guess that's what they're talking about there. So what do we need here? Uh -huh. It's not 
Where's our exit show this to your staff? Ah, okay. So I wasn't missing anything. Higher than. Because <sighs> he ate him. Interesting. Hmm. We found a bug in the uh, tutorial. Lots being the case. Main menu. Okay, let's do the tutorial. Dinosaur digs. Thank you, thank you. We've gone through all this. Interesting. Let's do our fencing. So do not set the dinosaur free when the scientist is near him. We'll see how that works, huh? Come on, I know you can do it. Alright, how about we stretch you there? Okay, there we go. trees. Okay. Yeah, it's not quite suitable yet. Shelter. Over here. Right here. Fresh water. Is attaching. Oh, he was not happy with that, was he? Do that. So what are you unhappy with this time? Not enough grass, too much reinforced. Okay. So we need a bit more grass to him.
And he needs more grass than he had before. Okay, we're getting there. There we go. Now we can set him free. Hopefully. So we want to bulldoze this part of the exhibit. Sure. Uh oh. There we go. Now that you have hired the dinosaur recovery team, we will all sedate any escaped dinosaurs or prehistoric animals once the dinosaurs are all sedated. The scientists will be able to enclose the dinosaur with a specially prepared dino box. This is a risky proposition if you don't have a dirt. Be sure to hire one as soon as you can afford it, especially if you have any carnivorous dinosaurs. Okay, and that's our dino exhibit, so we've got the feel for the dinosaur exhibit. So let's start with our marine mania tutorials here and see what this shows or she. Welcome to Marine Mania. This tutorial introduces you to some of the new features in the Zoo Tycoon expansion. If any time you wish to replay this, just simply select it. Uh, when you play this, you will see your minor text, etc., etc. If any time you wish to exit, etc., etc. Green menu adds more news for you. Place your zoo to help you access these items. We're using the expansion pack that you filter, etc. Filter, 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 filter. This marine menu. Thank you. Tires care for marine animals and marine minia. There's new staff member, the marine specialist, who form all the duties of zookeeper for marine animals. Let's hire a marine specialist. It's a marine specialist in the zoo. Okay, we'll place you there. People of holding a oh, a dolphin. Yay! On the left side, you can click the construction. That guy there. That guy there, which will be how they say, and then select any tank wall. Cursed to the empty area on the map across from the Nard wall exhibit. Click and drag to construct. Remember, completely enclosed. Noticed. And instead of a gate, a platform is automatically placed. Marine enters and exits the tank. Okay, well, first, you know, let's take a look at Sandy. Oh, look at that. Appears to be a bit of an island, it is. Oh, what you look at that? Pretty sizable. 
Oh yeah, it's an island. Oh, no way to get to it. Anyway, there's some exhibits there. We've got something there, something there. That looks interesting. Bit of trenchal shot. No sub shot. Best room here. Our tank filter. Ah, there's our narwhal exhibit platform. Okay, so construction. Solid concrete tank wall, black bar, and can only play swimming animals. Allows guests to see, allows guests to see. Guests can't see, so, well, we already got a black one, so we'll do this one. Then. Basics of marine units adopt a ball replacement, etc. Now, first things first. We'll want to put this there. There we go, cool. Uh, dolphin. Splash. So, I think you still I really like kelp. Let's add some kelp. Kelp until the exhibit reaches 76. Okay. Okay, you can purchase a tank filter to clean tanks. I'm getting dirty every time it cleans the tank. You are charged a fee. Well, this might cost more. The tank will stay cleaner. Okay. Tank filter. But we yeah, we'll stick you right there. Changing the exhibit, you can raise the height of the tank wall from the exhibit panel. Click the feeding platform you just created. Okay. Click the adjust wall up button. Notice how the height of the wall is increased. Serene nails for Deeper than others. Okay. So raise the exhibit wall. So this is the platform. Just wall up. Ooh. Shallower. Okay. Well, he doesn't. Bose tank button is how the whole exhibit is raised. With regards to the position of the tank, aesthetic adjustment. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see. Let's try adjusting the base of the tank. So, yeah, I think it's. Directly on war train, they are not attached to tanks. Okay. First things first, he liked the higher wall. And just base. Okay, so that raises. So you can actually raise it. Yeah, above and below, that's interesting. You can actually raise the walls when you get deeper. And still. Aha! Interesting. There we go. We should place a swim with dolphins building. Okay, so I presume. Goes here. There we go. I presume like that. Then. Okay, marine exhibit placing buildings on Mars. You go to the second tutorial. Of marine maniac reading animal shows to learn the basics. 
screen and will show exhibit. However, you're free to play any scenario free form game from the main menu. Ah, well, thank you. We're going to stick with the tutorials uh, for now, just so we can get a feel for this stuff. Sure. What, what, what just happened? To a marine park and seen a marine animal show. I believe I have. Shamu. No, the one where the dolphins and sea lions do all sorts of tricks. Yes, there's two at Hush Park, and uh, use the ability to create your own marine animal shows. Excellent. And tell me which X is or X is or Okay, so this is going to teach you a basic cure for you. How about that? Hmm. That's cool. Star on their icon, so the dolphin actually was a show, and also I believe I think there's some. I think we have some base sea lines that came with Zoo Tycoon or something. They're showing those too. We'll have to when we get back to our zoo in the next episode. We'll have to take a look. Uh, so Showing all unfiltered content. Yeah. Oh, a Yeti. What do you know? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Orcas, dolphins, sea lions, all those great white sharks. Why? Do they eat people? Hmm. So in the tank exhibit with the black tank walls. Okay, orc. Hey, orc. Show tank wall, so there is a difference. Blue at the star on the icon. Tank walls for both exhibit and show tank must be adjacent to the same height in order to create a gate for the animal to pass through. Oh, that'll be important. If you don't see a gate, then this is not a valid show exhibit. Your next task is to create an orca show exhibit. Okay, so you can help me out by doing this. Strike away the edges, glass show tank. Okay. Get you lined up. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. It's just our show tank. Just need a place to sit. Three grandstands between the two existing grandstands. Okay, next. Grandstand from the front, so make sure you leave at least one tile between the object and the show tank wall. Ah, okay. can't rotate it so we can't actually see, huh? <laughs> okay, well, I guess it will tell us. Mm. Three. Every show has a script created by default. The show script dictates the type of tricks to perform in order to perform this point because the guests won't be happy if they see the same tricks over and over again. Well, I guess that is true. <laughs> Click the platform on the Orca show exhibit. The show script panel opens in the center of the screen. Click on any trick in the available trick list on the left side of the panel. Click the right arrow in the center to add the show to so you can... Okay. So where we platform... Click on the platform. The Orca show script. That's the platform, I presume. Mission price. Frequent Orca. Wave to crowd. Spray water. We just got wave to crowd. Just got spray water. How about play with ball? Sh 
Should performs more shows to generate more uh, comforts of home will be unhappy the longer they're out. Ah. See their favorite animal overworked and mistreated. Okay, frequency two. Yeah, so I guess we don't want continuous. So in the tricks, for example, we play the ball if it's placed in the show, placing show objects in it. Now the show tank will unlock more tricks. Ah! So they have to be unlocked, okay. For that animal name indicates which animal will use it. Okay. So we will purchase Orca Ball. That's interesting. Spunk. Okay. Orcas play with ball tricks is available each time you add a new show object. It makes new tricks available for that animal. Okay. Play with ball. Ah, oh, yes, now it is available. Some show tricks must be researched. Separate category for each animal that has tricks you can research. Look at the trick research now. Increase funding. Okay. Research. We should play the third marine uh, combined exhibits that are basically creating land and tank exhibits. So you snare uh, Okay. So I guess I guess we don't get to see many tricks there. We'll do that with all of you. Yeah, we've got the basics here. Okay. Well. Land exhibits with tank exhibits create large multiple environment exhibits from rain, possibly other species. I think this is what we've done already. At least I had, I've done it previously before I started recording my zoo for our It's All Nerist series. So we'll show you that because I get the polar bear for one. Polar bear, magnet, and I believe a crocodile actually have the combined exhibits. So now you'll learn how I did it. And I'll see if I actually did it wrong or not. Hmm. Land intake is a special manner. It merges the two together for the animal to live in. These combined are challenging to create for the marine animals you place them in will enjoy these environments and will happily move. Okay. Rest and feed. Morris, seal, and sea otter. We'll complete the fencing. Okay. Clears off only three sides. Yeah, which I think I've done. Actually, I think I've enclosed all four sides. I've actually enclosed the tank in my zoo. Next to the walrus tank. Okay. Oop. Okay, that's just a reminder. Hence, we're going to go boom. Boom. So we just want to go like that. Good. Green white striped one, okay. Here's the land exhibits. So I have to lower. Oh, ah, yes. That I did correctly. Two keepers will take care of the needs of animals in land or combined exhibits. Two 
run the show when a show tank is present. Ah, okay. Okay, hire. Oh. I'll hire you. I'll put you there. To a normal exhibit tank situation creates a pass through gate between the two tanks. There's a pre place combined exhibit with a show tank to buy it. Over the show tank wall so that the pass through gate appears between the two tanks. Show tank. Okay. There's our polar bears. That's cute. This is what we're talking about here. Lower the show tank walls. Uh, I presume this is the show tank there. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'd save again. We want to do it's all in the rest to it. No, we don't actually. We actually want to. Good game. Now, our large grasslands. There we go. There we go, as you can see there. Yeah, 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 see I have the tank itself surrounded too. So we will go kaboop. So this actually isn't a tank, this is actually seawater I've placed there. For a crocs with the polar bears. And magnet. One's magnet, the other's, yes, there's magnet special polar bear. This is really a polar bear. So I've actually surrounded the tank too with the wall, which uh, obviously you can see you can do. And then the other combined one I did is the penguins. The penguins, that is correct. Excellent. And there we have it. Let's see if this is screwed up any of our construction if we've stone wall, good iron bar exhibits, right? Iron bar oh, okay, good. Oh no, our Sibirian tigers died. Let's uh, minimize some stuff here. Thank you. We have to get our Siberian tiger. We adopted by over here. Looks like he's reinforced. See the zoo is so huge, very laggy when loading. A freaking elephant seven has died. Alright, we still have elephants though. Okay, good. Good, good chance. Magnet has escaped. Magnet. Pick 
pick you up. Put you back here. Hey, magnet. Here you go in your tank. While I quickly repair this wall. This needs a bit of repair too, there we go. And here, got walls falling apart all over the place. Okay, that's good. Really? There's always one. Messages. Oh no, Bigfoot's died. Oh no. I've got to get another Bigfoot to get in here. Here's Bigfoot. There we go. Yay, Bongo. So anyway, let's pause this for the moment. Yes, so that'll help a bit. So as you can see, here, lots of exhibits, buildings here. So I guess we will start our dinosaurs here. Okay, dude, really? Go repair something, dude. Assignments. Yeah. Uh, just a bird. Put marine animals here. So we'll have our marine animals here. We'll have our dinosaurs here. When we get that action going, which will be next episode. Anyway, I am BJ Wala. Thank you for watching this episode if it's all in the wrist. And until next time, we will, I will, we'll all see each other in game. Thanks for watching.